This knife is blank cutting plastic. Used for, used to. Both have the same meaning. The only difference is for comes with an ing form, but to comes with the base verb without ing. Here we have cutting with ing, so the answer is used for. This knife is used for cutting plastic, and you can say to cut plastic. The pen is used for writing ing or to write the base verb. I bite blank late today. I have a lot of work. Be being to be. Might is a modal verb. May, might, can, could, will, would, must, should. These are all modal verbs and they're followed by the base verb. Play, not playing. Go, not to go. Visit, not visited. These are the base verbs, which we use after the modal verbs. So the answer here is be, not being, not to be. You answer this one. We should blank up early in the morning. Get, to get, getting. Remember that should is a modal verb. What's the answer then? Let me know in the comments. I'm bored. I don't have blank to do. Nothing, anything. We use nothing in positive sentences, but we use anything in negative sentences with not in it. Here we have don't means do not, so the sentence is negative, so we use anything here. I'm bored, I don't have anything to do. I'm hungry, but I have blank to eat. Nothing, anything. Have, so the sentence is positive, so we use nothing here. I have nothing to eat. You can say, I don't know anything about this. Don't, negative, so we use anything. And you can use nothing here by saying, I know nothing about this. Look, no positive, so we use nothing. Clear, guys? Anything in negative, nothing in positive, and they give the same meaning. You answer this one. It's dark, I can't see, blank, nothing or anything, can, negative. Follow this rule and answer. I can't find the pen, blank, I bought yesterday. Who, that, where. We use who after a person, that after a person or a thing, where after a place. The pen is not a person, and not a place, the pen is a thing. So we use that. I can't find the pen that I bought yesterday. And we can also use which here. I can't find the pen which I bought yesterday. This is the hospital blank I was born. When, which, where. We use when after time, which after a thing, where after a place. The hospital is a place, right? So we use where here. This is the hospital where I was born. You answer this one. I remember the day, blank, we first met. When, which, where. The day is time. So what do we use here after time? Let me know in the comments. She, blank, nice. She seems nice or she seems like nice. What's the difference? Listen, guys. The verbs feel, smell, taste, sound, look, seem. Normally, they're followed by an adjective. Like, you look tired or it sounds good or she seems happy. But sometimes they're followed by like plus a noun. And a noun is the name of something, like a boy, a dog, a cat, and a doctor, and so on. So seems alone needs an adjective. And seems like needs a noun. What is this nice? An adjective. So seems is the answer. She seems nice. This cloud blank a cat looks or looks like. Again, looks is followed by an adjective and looks like is followed by a noun. A cat is a noun, it's a name of something, so this is the answer. This cloud looks like a cat. This fish, blank, salty. Tastes, tastes like. Mm -hmm. Tastes plus adjective, tastes like plus a noun. Salty is an adjective, so tastes. This fish tastes salty. Thank you for watching.